Alondra here at Sec TV. We are at the CAE booth. We are here with Dan Gelston. How are you, Dan? I'm doing well, Andra. Thank you for having me. Oh, anytime. It's always a pleasure. So this booth is once again ginormous. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're excited to be here. Again, this is our second show post the acquisition of L3 Harris Military Technologies, the uh, legacy link business. So now we're a year plus into the acquisition. I think we have a fully integrated team now and we're excited to demonstrate what we've got really a best of breed of both of the technologies coming together from each side of that fence uh, in the acquisition so really excited to be here yes great to have you uh, will you tell me a little bit about the importance of the modernization of military and how you help with that Absolutely. Well, the latest national defense strategy of the United States uh, was just released and that kind of drives both the U.S. and allied strategies going forward for defense uh, departments around the world. So really focused on that and you can see a lot of the theme here is the night one scenario looking at the Pacific problem set. Uh, that's something specifically that with modernization, training and simulation is more crucial than ever. You're bringing all five domains together and rather complex environments that need to be cyber hardened. And the reality is you're just not gonna be able to train with the efficacy or as often as uh, really the type of reps you're gonna need to be proficient without this type of training and simulation bringing it all together in a simulated environment. No doubt. And then speaking of that, uh, what do you see as key threats and how are you addressing those? Certainly, so again, that I think joint all domain environment, the ability to train as you fight, and that will be the threat, that will be the potential fight if that day comes. So how do we get out of our silos and train and simulate across those domains, even though you may be an Air Force Air person or an Army ground person or a you know, Navy a maritime person? bringing that together with our training technology and simulating everything, including the cyber and the space, is key. In fact, I just ran through our joint all domain and SCARS demonstration, which I'm looking forward to maybe chatting about a bit more, and was able to kind of take that on myself. It was, uh, I think, a great preparation for what our forces need. You kind of have to think of everything yeah. and every threat, and that's just wild, and we're so happy to have you here and you know, being able to do this for our soldiers and our safety. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's uh, as a former soldier myself, uh, it kind of warms the heart. I would have loved to have a lot of this training capability and simulation capability. Bit of a gray beard, this was a long time ago, but uh, I, I, it's exciting to be able to play our little part in the mission preparedness of our forces, men and women that keep us safe, both in the United States and allied nations around the world. And I think this really brings a capability to keep them honed and allow them to do whatever mission they need and be as prepared as possible to come home safely to us. Yes, I think that's great. Um, for those who don't know, um, what's SCARS? The Simulated Common Architecture Requirement and Standards. It is quite a mouthful, but it's a near billion dollar contract, prime contract we have with the Air Force that fundamentally was designed to integrate all, I think, 2,400 plus simulators they have across 50 plus platforms. So it allows you, instead of uh, pushing updates individually or linking individual simulators and in individual, I think there's like 17 different simulation environments they use right now, really bringing it all together as one. So the guys flying the tankers could potentially be in the same simulated environment with the guys flying the F-35s and ground assets as well, all cyber hardened, all working together, even if they may be at different classification levels. Wonderful, and they can all learn from each of those levels Absolutely. from each other as yep. well. Because again, you train as you fight, and you're not going to fight as a singular tanker or a singular F-35 or a singular uh, JTAC on the ground calling for fire. You're going to be working all together. Dan, where can we get more information? Uh, I'd love you to be interested to get more information. It's booth 1734. We're kind of right in the middle, and as you mentioned, a, a big platform. But uh, I think that's appropriate. We are the largest um, uh, platform agnostic training and simulation provider uh, in the world. And that's something we're very uh, proud of. Independent, all we do is training and simulation. We're not tied to a singular platform of, you know, plane or boat or something to that effect. So uh, we've got quite a booth here, hopefully fairly showing all five domains and uh, what we can do for our customers. So 1734, booth 1734 is where I'd love them to come. All right, that's it for now. Thank you. Stay tuned for more at ITSEC TV.